What is going on everybody? It's September 8th, 2022 in Big Bear, California, and we are getting some unbelievably well-needed rain for these fires. So uh, we're just gonna quickly drive up Summit Boulevard and then head over to Big Bear City and see what's going on there. But yeah, so we are headed up Summit to go check out the fire, which is probably gonna be completely put out by this, you guys. And I believe this might be part of the, hur the hurricane. Mm -hmm. Which is just crazy that we're actually experiencing that here. Mm -hmm. We're getting some of the mm -hmm. outer bands here, which is really, mm -hmm. really cool. Oh, these guys must be so happy. Mm -hmm. All these firemen and safety mm -hmm. folks, they must be so happy. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So yeah guys, it is 8.40 in the morning, and yeah, out of nowhere, I started hearing thunder, and then we have some stuff outside that can't get wet, and my wife's like, it's raining, <laughs> so I run outside. And this guy gets a pass, because he saved our town. <laughs> what? Yeah, I did too, but with, with, with my new windshield. Oh yeah, guys, I'm, I'm, because my, my windshield is so pitted, I'm replacing it through Safe Light, and I think our videos are going to be that much more clear once I get my car back. When that's done, so that's that's gonna be pretty cool. Oh, he's he didn't do anything wrong. Okay, guys, you can still see smoke straight ahead at, at the very top. It's, it's not that much, but we are we are definitely being impacted in a positive way with this rain and thunder and lightning. I'm really hoping this is part of the hurricane, but I didn't think any of the bands would get here until tomorrow. This is exciting, this rain. It's so exciting. We are so happy about this. Okay, so the fire was like raging over here, kind of right where I'm pointing. And you, you can see, see the smoke, but that just might be from the fire being put out right now. So, um, what do you think, babe? Yeah. Yeah, you can see a little smoke still kind of seeping up through the trees, but it's very little, so hopefully that's the rest of the fire. And you know what's sad is the further we drove towards Snow Summit, the less it's, it's raining. <laughs> so hopefully they're getting a good amount of rain up there. But usually the higher the elevation over here, usually the heavier the rain will be. So just like the snow. So this is the Radford fire, you guys. It's not that rad. I knew a guy in school named Radford Seacrest. This kid was like the most amazing artist. So uh, we'll go down to, to cut across to Shiggy, Bird, Big Bear City. Bear City. So yeah. I think it's gonna be a really good day, you guys. Look, that guy's raking. I need to hire somebody to rake. To rake where? At our house. Why don't we just do it? Okay. We have two rakes. So we're gonna use the other one. You. <laughs> You're cute, baby. <laughs> no, I'm not. The dog. <laughs> moisture could not have come at a more opportune time. I can guarantee you, well, if this is part of the hurricane stuff, then maybe Hemet's getting hit right now, too. And hopefully their fire is being, being impacted. Your house first. Some what? Some big 
Bibles at Bonds. They've got the best ones. Bonds has the freshest bagels in town. If you have enough energy to in get town, up. what's the proper statement? If you have enough energy to get up and walk into all the way in the back of Bonds Bakery <laughs> and grab yourself a fresh bagel, it's worth it. Wouldn't a McGriddle be better? Mmm, that sounds great. Anything. The bagel sounds good too. I think that does sound good. This is fun. You might have to do one quick, one more quick little thing. Okay, cool. Thanks, baby. I just wanted to go by Bear real quick. I'd rather be hurry. Thanks, babe. And we're up for, I'm up for here. So. you guys as I said we got some good rumbles of thunder too so this is pretty awesome when I heard heard that thunder I got worried about the, the rain as I said because we have a couple things outside that we're gonna put inside right away but that I'm supposed to get wet <laughs> so I thought I would be able to wait another day to start looking through that stuff, but now that it's raining, it's like, nope, today. Yeah. <laughs> I am so fortunate I bought that, like, $90 tarp. I know. Oh my God. That's been a lifesaver for <laughs> yeah. the entire move. It has been. And I thought it was, like, the stupidest thing that I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm like, where the hell are we going to... No, it's been a lifesaver. Good job, dude. Of course. Of course. Thank you. Inside because I didn't want a bunch of them just sitting in the car. Oh, okay. So I may have brought it inside. If I did, it's definitely safe. Pretty sure I did. Pretty sure I did. <coughs> Hello. 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 Alright, so we are on a street called Willow. Willow. You remember Willow? The movie Willow. You ever will? Hey guys. What was it like a hobbit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like a yeah. I'll never forget, my dad took me to go see that at a movie theater at South Coast Plaza. And I remember that because we never went to that theater. We always went to like Edwards Big Newport or Edwards Island. And both of them are in Fashion Island. And then when Triangle Square in Costa Mesa came around go to movies there once in a while but yeah every time I'm on the street I think of that movie Willow and just how odd that movie was as a child here's, here, here's one of my favorite houses on the inside guys it's got a sauna and everything and it's an Airbnb so you guys are more than welcome to rent it out uh, I gave you guys the address in one of the other videos I'm telling you it's uh it's pretty awesome pretty darn awesome golf course just always looks so beautiful. My goodness gracious. This is awesome, babe. Put all this damn fire out. Dang fire out. I'm sorry.
so you guys, I told you guys we stayed at this place called the Sky View Inn in Sky Forest. It's probably the nicest view of any hotel I've ever stayed in because it's a 6,000 foot drop. So it's just the most incredible view into to the San Bernardino Valley and all of that. Um, but making room for these fire videos and I was telling myself like, don't erase that other video accidentally. So I, I didn't think that I would. Well, I ended up erasing the whole hotel video and I'm so upset about it. So we're gonna go stay there again Sunday just for the night, just so I can do the video again because the place was so awesome. Uh, lots of fire, lots of fire people at Bear Mountain and at the golf course. So yeah, I'm wondering what this, where this storm's coming from. If these are outer bounds from the, from the whatchamacallit or what, from the hurricane. Guys, there's no more smoke really rolling off of that mountain. So once again, thank you Mother Nature for helping us out. Hopefully people do not take any credit away from these guys who bust their butts to keep us safe. Because I'm confident the fire would have been completely put out with them without any rain anyway. This golf course is getting so much rain. It looks so pretty. It's so green. It looks so good. It does. It looks so good. So that's where the fire is. You can actually see smoke up there at, at the very top, to the left of those red trees. And the red is from the boss check, I believe, unless those are some beautiful fall colors. <laughs> but I believe that that is, yeah, there's still a lot of smoke up there, but I'm, I'm just hoping that that's just, I don't know, from the storm or from the, from the fire being kind of smothered out by the rain. Sneaky, aren't you, little one? Oh, there was some lightning right there, a big lightning bolt. Sorry, guys. I do This once we hit Big Bear, or probably not gonna even hit Big Bear Boulevard at all. But once we get up here a little bit, I'll let you guys go. So I just want you guys to, to kind of see it let up and maybe see the sky over Big Bear City and Baldwin, that area. Hope all of you are having a good day. As you can tell, we are okay. Fire's not even, I, I mean, as far as the fire is concerned, it's not really that close to my house. And it looks like it's just about out, as I said. I just don't want so much rain in them. Yeah, <clears throat> I was super disappointed to see that the news wasn't covering it too much. And they were still <coughs> saying that it was at 2% last night. But I know that was old news being played in the evening, so...
Yeah, guys, they haven't been really covering much of the fire <laughs> since two days ago. <laughs> Alright, so we are on, I believe this is called McAllister, or, okay. If you stay on McAllister, it turns into Fox Farm Road. shortcuts in to Big Bear City from like Moon Ridge and, and Big Bear Lake you guys if you guys kind of followed the route I took um, from Bear Mountain that's a, a good little sneaky route into Big Bear City is what we're taking right now so if you if you leave the mountain going skiing or snowboarding and you guys are staying in, in Bear City then um, this will be your route because it'll take you a long time on Big Bear Boulevard <clears throat> To get to this part of town when we have snow. It's like an utter nightmare. <coughs> okay, we're on Division Road now and this will take you to Big Bear Boulevard. If you go left at Big Bear Boulevard, you'll be driving into Big Bear Lake. If you go right, you'll be driving into Big Bear City. But anyway, thank you guys for everything. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. And keep your fingers crossed that our fire is going to be put out completely today. Talk to you guys later, September 8th, 2022. All right, you guys, this is just an add-on to those two other clips. Uh, it is still September 8th, 2022 in Big Bear California. We're just leaving Big Bear City, heading into Big Bear Lake, and the sky looks really ominous out this direction, so I thought maybe we could catch a lightning bolt for you guys. And then also, uh, when we come around this, this big bend, right when you pass Stanfield Cutoff, you get a really beautiful view of Snow Summit. It's probably one of the, one of the best views in all of Big Bear. So fortunate to get this rain. Wow, so fortunate. <coughs> yeah, you can see. Come down a little harder the further we go this way. Okay, here's Stanford cut off right where you start curving around the left up here. It's just a really, really, really beautiful view of some summit. So hopefully, hopefully you guys can... Oh wait, there's still a bunch of smoke up there. But as I said, that could be from a fire being put out. So there's the view of Snow Summit, and then to the top left there of Snow Summit, you can see all the smoke. And it's even lower too. Wow, it's like almost halfway down the mountain. There's a bunch at the, at the ridge up there too. We shall see. We shall see what, what happens here. But anyway, that's the most recent update. That's the best update I can give you right now. Um, I, I, I don't know exactly what's going on, but uh, yeah, hopefully it's all going to be kaput soon. But yeah, that, that's yeah, that's a very, very, very beautiful view right here. But we're just going to go past Starbucks for questions. This big tree right here is such a pain, but maybe. Wow, babe, look at how low that is. Right, so I'm gonna zoom in for you guys. So right here is the low point. That's, but it's, it's still smoking pretty good. Come on, rain, wow.
Yeah, I'm really hoping that's just it being smothered like you said. <clears throat> I sure hope so. Well, anyway, you guys, that's going to be it for this video of the rain and thunder in Big Bear. If it picks up or if anything changes, we will do another video. Talk to you guys soon. Say bye, baby. Bye, baby. <laughs> He's so cute.